So hi Chelsea, I'm Dinah. I'm a clinical instructor for Lake Superior College and today you're going to have a shadow experience with us and I thought first of all I'd like to start out by showing you the schedule for once you get into the program. But could you tell me first of all like whereabouts are you in the program as far as getting in or are you hoping to get in soon? Yep, I'm just finishing up my prerequisites so I'm hoping to apply to get into the fall. This fall. Okay, great. All right, so once that happens I gotta also ask you do you work another job right now? Mm -hmm. You do, like full time? Um, part just time? every other weekend right now. Oh, every other weekend, perfect, because that's one of the reasons why a lot of our students drop out is when they're working full time, they come into the x ray program, and the x ray program is almost full time, and then working two full time things is not going to work for as far as studying and, and making a good. Um, attempt at trying to get the program you know under control with studying and stuff like that so anyways I'm just going to show this to you how it kind of goes so you know um, when you start in the fall you are in the didactic portion up at the college for eight weeks first you go to school two days a week okay they block schedule a few classes patient care and a few others you got to get those done before you can come into the clinical setting then once you come into the clinical setting you will only be in class on Mondays and then the rest of the four days that week Monday or Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Day, Friday those four days you're in clinicals for seven hours it's it's roughly about uh, 29 hours there are 7.5 hour days um, and so then when you're in clinicals that long that's um, 29 hours plus the six or eight hours that you're in class on Mondays do you see how that's like a full work week mm -hmm. so working every other weekend works out perfect and that's what the students succeed best at um, and then when it comes to spring you'll also be working some afternoon shifts and so for fall it's just days we actually have a shift here at Essentia where you start at 5:30 a.m. because you do portables and so that's an early one but um, and we have um, fluoroscopy um, general radiography rotation uh, you have portable rotation uh, transport you go with a transporter you have an office rotation where you learn about the office and then come spring when you come back for spring semester you will have PMs uh, weekends you also have fluoroscopy again and then when you have your portable shift uh, halfway through that portable shift you'll go up to surgery and you'll get a little experience up in surgery so today we're going to show you some ex um, different exams hopefully get a general exam and in a fluoroscopy exam and possibly trauma um, all of our students that come as shadows they just take off and go with the tech or take off and go with me and just follow us and and we just go you watch how we do the exams so yeah any questions at all or no no all right are you ready to start mm -hmm. all right it's gonna be fun all right hi are you Brittany yes hi come on with me my name is Dinah and this is Therese good morning Okay, I'll have you come take a seat on the chair here. Okay. And I'll first of all ask you what your last name is, Brittany? Hardy. Okay, and your birth date, please? 8-30-82. Okay, and it's your right hand that hurts? It is. Okay, and is it you're pregnant? No. No, okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> and I'll have you put your hand on here, but I see you have a ring on, so can you try and get that ring off for us? All right, yep, we're gonna do three pictures, a front view, and a kind of halfway side view, and then a complete side view. So I'm gonna have you put your arms straight this way. There you go. And I'm gonna center to the third metacarpal phalangeal joint. That's what you learned in class. And then we collimate here. Is there any way you can make it as flat as you can? Yep, there you go, thank you. And then we'll put our right marker on. And I'm going to open that up just a touch more and get a little more wrist. All right, hold real still. Beep. OK. 
Okay, and I'll have you turn it halfway up. There you go. It's the same centering right there. And then you gotta make sure you don't collimate off that thumb there. All right, hold real still. Beep. Okay, and now I'll have you put it all the way on its side. There you go, and can you spread your fingers apart like you're making an okay sign? There you go, oh, good job. Just make sure you have that light all the way around. Okay. Beep. Okay, that's done. I'll take the shield from you. We'll bring you back to the ER. I'll have you come with me. So this is a fluoroscopy room. A fluoroscopy room is different than the general room, like the general x-ray that we did earlier, and the fact that the, that x-ray is done instantly and you see the picture instantly. And here, this is live radiation. What happens is the radiologist comes in and he steps on this foot pedal right here, and you can see how there's an eye and then a camera. That takes the picture, but the eye makes live radiation come on. So um, as an x-ray student, you'd come in here with the radiologist and you'd get the patient ready for multiple exams that I'm going to tell you about. And the radiologist then would say, you know, um, to the patient to start drinking the barium or whatever, and he'd push on that pedal, and the x-ray is going to go through the patient's body from beneath, the x-ray tubes down below, goes up into the image intensifier, and then the images show up over here as the patient is drinking and doing the different exams. And one of the tests that you would be a part of in here is a barium swallow test. And barium is mixed into a glass with some water, and barium is an element on the periodic table. If you remember back in the days when you took chemistry, um, the big periodic table, barium x-ray cannot get through barium. So that's why we use barium, because it helps show up on x-ray. We have some other things that we can use too, gastrographin, Omnipake, these are all different um, contrast mediums that do not, x-ray cannot get through them, so they show up and let us see the patient's anatomy from the inside. So um, then we also have these um, gas pills and these gas pills we give to the patient and it forms air inside of the patient's belly. So as they drink the barium, they have the air in there, we get a double contrast. One of the unfortunate things that could possibly happen is the patient might get sick and they might throw up, so you gotta be ready with a, a bag here in case they get sick to help them. Um, here's a picture of what would happen when a patient drinks that um, barium. As you can see, the patient's starting to drink, it goes down, and the doctor is able to look and see if there's anything going on with their swallowing um, there, their epiglottis. Yeah. And then um, some other tests that we do in here, the one that kind of scares a lot of students, is called a barium enema, okay? Back in my day, we would do 15 of these exams a day, okay? A barium enema is where we take barium, fill it into this bag and then we have this rectal tip here and there's KY jelly and we put the KY jelly on there and the patient's laying on the table and we actually insert the rectal tip into the rectum and then we run this barium into their colon, fills up their colon and the patient has to you know hold it and we take pictures and the radiologist is here and he's taking pictures watching the barium going into the patient. Um, probably three or four you will see in your two years in the program. It's not like the olden days. There's things like CAT scans, MRI, things that have replaced this exam, so we don't do it very often anymore. Um, one of the other things that we do that involves barium and instant potato buds, kind of interesting, is we mix the two of them together and it forms a real thick paste that's like um, um, feces 
and we fill it into this syringe and we inject that into the patient's rectum and it only has to go in a small, um, dir um, small distance and then the patient actually sits on uh, like a toilet seat and we, the radiation is coming through the patient and we watch the patient defecate into a bag. Kind of a odd test, but it's actually one that is really helpful in diagnosing if people have prolaxed rectums. So that's why we do it. Um, another test we do in here is um, a bladder test called a cystogram. Um, we actually hang this bottle of um, contrast from the IV pole and the patient comes to us already catheterized and then that we attach that to the catheter and we have that go into the patient's bladder until they feel full. The patient tells us they feel full. The radiologist will come in. He pulls that into image intensifier across, takes pictures of the patient's bladder. They'll do side views and lateral views and they're looking for any kind of flux going up the patient's ureters and then at the end of that exam they take out the catheter and they actually have the patient pee because they want the patient to um, you know urinate right onto the table because they want to see if there's anything wrong with their urethra um, so with all those things you have the possibility of someone you know throwing up you have the possibility of someone letting go of that barium rectally, you know, they, and then they purposefully defecate for the, for the one test, and then there's urine. So there's all those things, and you have to be okay with that. Sometimes there's smells, but, you know, that's what we do in this profession is we try really hard to help that patient, so we do the best we can to help them through that. Um, one of the other things when you come into the program is we do a lot of injections into patients' joints, in their back, in their shoulders, in their hips, and when I say we, it's it's not me doing it, it's a radiologist, but there are these bigger needles. This is a five um, centimeter long spinal needle. And when the patient's in here for this exam, if you're doing a shoulder exam, you as a student would prep that patient's shoulder with um, betadine and get it all cleaned off. We open up a big sterile tray and then the radiologist comes in and then he locates the area of the joint where we're going to go and then he'll put this needle into the patient because it's a needle inside of a needle. So they take out this inner sheath and then they connect tubing to it and they inject some of this contrast material into that patient's joint. And then that patient often goes to MRI or even CT and they um, um, can diagnose if the patient has, you know, like torn rotator cuffs or if they have herniated discs in their back, things like that. And so when you're in this room and this live radiation is going on, you can't be in here with clothes just like this, like we are. We would get radiated. So we have something called lead and x-ray cannot get through lead. That's why all of our walls are lined with lead. And we have, um, everybody wears this, not the patient, but um, us as a technologist and you as a student. So put that on so you can kind of feel how heavy that is. Wow. And you, yeah, you kind of got to walk around with that all day long. All day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we actually have some where it's wrap around and covers you all the way around. We have lead glasses that you wear. Um, the radiologist wears them, the techs, the students, everybody, because we want to protect our eyes. We have thyroid shields that we wear. It covers our thyroid, so we're always protected protected when we're in doing these exams. And so there's going to be um, a patient coming in just a little bit and you'll get to watch. It's a patient that's going to be drinking the barium and so Colleen's going to do that with um, a patient and you'll be able to watch. All right. Okay. So come on with me. We'll go, we'll go find and see if she's ready. All right, we're gonna go out and get our first patient um, of the morning here. She'll be out in the waiting area. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call her by her first name, not her last name. We'll confirm last name when we get her in through the double doors. It's kind of a HIPAA thing that we wanna make sure we call them by their first name, not their last name out here if we can do that. So, okay. Megan, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, good. We're going to have you come on back here. And can I get your last name? Josephson. All right, and your date of birth, please. 12-21-9. Is there any chance you could be pregnant? Nope. Yeah. My name's Colleen, and this is Therese. She's our shadow student today. Are you okay with her being involved a little bit today? Yeah, that's Okay. Good. So have you ever had any barium studies before? Nope, I haven't. Okay. Have you had anything to eat or drink today? Nope. Oh, that's all good. So what we're going to do, the first thing is take you to the changing area. 
And I got a couple things for you here. So the first thing I need you to change from the waist up, shirt and bra and, and necklace. Okay. Earrings probably should come off as well, but this goes on first. It's a gown, ties in the back. Okay. And then here is another bathrobe, so you're a little more covered up. Okay. And your clothes can go in any of the lockers with the key. Lock it up and just put the key on your wrist and then have a seat right around the corner and I'll be back to get you. Perfect, thank All you. All right, you're welcome. So you go ahead in there and change and I'll be right back. Okay, all set? Ready. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go down to the x-ray room now. Okay. And this is right around the corner here. And this is where we're going to perform the x-ray and this is going to be fluoroscopy, which is like live x-ray. Okay. So we can kind of see what's going on. Okay. All right, okay, come on in. We're gonna let you take a seat right here. Very good. All right. So, Megan, I just have a couple questions for you before okay. we get started. But what we're going to do, your doctors asked us to do a study for your esophagus today and your, and your stomach. Okay. Um, how we visualize that is we have two different contrasts. We have um, barium, it's called. It's a powdered solution we mix with water. You drink it. It shows up on this TV screen. We also have what's little Pop Rocks. Have you ever had Pop Rocks yeah. before? Okay. These are very similar to that, kind of like Alka-Seltzer. We okay. mix with a little bit of water. We have you drink those down. Those will put gas in your stomach. So it's kind of like a double contrast where you're going to use barium, which is white and chalky, and the air, which is kind of like a gas. The gas crystals are going to make you want to burp. Okay. We don't want you to burp. Okay. So how you fight that feeling is you swallow a couple times. Swallowing will help keep that gas down inside where we want it to be. Okay. All right. So any questions about that? Nope. So the next question, I'm going to do some um, screening here. Have you had anything to eat or drink? I know I asked you before, but I'm going to ask you again. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your symptoms. Well, I've been feeling like something's been getting stuck, like right about in here. Okay. I feel like, especially when I lay down, something comes right back up. Okay. How long have you had those symptoms? Mm -hmm. Probably about like three months or so. Okay. And is it mostly with liquids or solids? Liquids. Liquids. Okay. All right, and solids um, go down okay, no problem with solids. It takes a couple times to swallow. A, but that's a little bit with the solids, okay. And three months, you said? Yeah. All right. Any scopes? Have they gone down and looked with the scope? Not yet, no. Nope. Okay. So, uh, Therese, on the scope issue, um, what they like to do is they put a scope down, they can look into the esophagus and the stomach and see if anything is going on. So, that's why we always ask. Sometimes they do biopsies. Have you had a biopsy recently? Nope. Okay, when that's something we will want to know too. Um, any surgeries on your esophagus or your stomach? Nope. Okay. So um, the next thing we're going to do then is uh, Denny LeMay, uh, he's going to come in. He's our radiology practitioner here. Um, and what we do to get you started is we have you step up onto this little platform. You can see there's a little platform here. Okay. We have you put your back up against the table. Okay. Um, at that point, we're going to give you some barium, and we will start with a thicker barium. Okay. It coats very well. The crystals will distend out the esophagus, so we will give you some crystals as well. Okay. So, um, any questions about that? I don't think so. All right. We're good to go. We'll start upright at one point. The table will lay back down, so we will do that in two different projections. When you're standing up and you drink something, gravity pulls it through. Okay. When you lay the table down, now your esophagus actually has to work. So that's why we do it with you standing and with you laying down okay. as well. So, so any questions? I will get Danny then. So. I think we're good to go. All right. So Megan, I'd like you to meet Denny. Hi, Hi Megan, how are you? Good, how are you today? Uh, Colleen's explained everything that we're going to be doing to you here. Yep. Um, so we're going to start you off right up on this table. Okay. We're going to have you stand on this platform right here and face me, all right? Okay. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to get you some barium here. So okay. we're going to go over to the counter here and barium. So we're going to get the barium here and our crystals. Let me start with here. All right. So, here we go. That's All right, I want density. you to hold this in your left hand. Okay. I'll just take those from you. Crystals, yep. So, when I tell you to, 
I want you to take some of that, hold it in your mouth until I tell you to swallow, okay? Okay. You look straight ahead. Swallow. Good. Now I'd like your back up against the table. We'll do the same thing from the front. Just take some of that in your mouth, hold it still. Swallow. Good. All right, I'm going to steal that from you for a second. Okay. We're going to use these little crystals here. I want you to down it as soon as I give it to you. Okay. Right on down. Perfect. Now we're going to put this in your left hand again. And I want you to turn so you're facing that corner of the room. Perfect. Okay, one swallow, please. Okay, good. Now we're going to have you do that again. I'm going to take a couple pictures as we go. Very good. Very good. Okay, back against the table. Now the table you're laying on is going to recline. Okay. It's kind of like a reclining bed. Just kind of relax and everything's going to go backwards here. I'll take that cup from you. Yep. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to give you a pillow here, Megan. Okay. Okay. So this is going to go behind your head. Just want you to rest back there. And then when we get you down all the way, we're going to give you a little bit different bear and it'll be a thinner bear. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is roll over onto your tummy for me. All right, good. I'd like your right arm down by your side. Left knee halfway up the table. Perfect. Now I'm going to slide this pillow back just a little bit. Okay. Just put a little cloth there for you. This is our thin barium, so I'm going to have you hang on to the cup. I'm going to put the straw in your mouth. And, and when I tell you to, we want just one swallow, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, take one swallow, please. Okay, good. We'll take that from you. Perfect. Now we're going to have you roll back onto your back. I want your knees up with your feet flat on the table. And when I tell you to, I want you to tighten up your tummy as tight as you can, like you're going to bear down for a bowel movement or someone's going to push on your stomach, okay? Okay. Okay, let's have you do that right now. Okay, relax. I'm going to have you roll away from me about halfway. Good. Same thing. Tighten up that tummy as tight as you can. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, good. Relax. And I want you to roll toward me this time. Okay, right there is good. Just tighten up that stomach as tight as you can. Okay, good. Now I'm going to have you back on your back. Feet down. Okay, just hold on nice and tight. Table's going to stand up now. Okay, here we go. I will take that pillow from you, Megan. Here, you want to lift up your head. I will grab that out of your way. And then, Therese, we can put that right behind you on that counter there. And then we'll How you doing? Closer. Need to burp? Yep. Go ahead. That's okay. okay. <laughs> All right, one more thing before we get done. You can let go of the table there if you would. Okay. Now, I've got a little pill in here. It's about the size of a Tums. Okay. I want you to put that in your mouth. Follow it down with the water, and we're just going to watch it go. Put your back right up against the table. Good. Okay. Excellent. All done. All right. We'll get you down off Very that good. thing. Just relax there for a second. This is going to come down. It's going to sound like a car backing up. Okay. And a little bit of a step down. A little there. step down. I'm going to let you have a seat there. In the and I'm going to look at these real quick, and we'll get right back to you here. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. You bet. Perfect. All righty. Megan, we're all done. Okay. Do you have an appointment coming up with your physician soon? Uh, I think next week. Okay. Um, you'll get the results then, or if you want to find out earlier, then you can call them in a couple of days here, and we'll have everything set up for you. Perfect. Thank all right. You it's so nice, much. Meeting nice meeting you. Good luck to you. Too. So Megan, we're all done now okay. and some post-procedure instructions for you. We want you to push some extra fluids today, water, juice, whatever you like to drink. We need to flush that barium through your system. Okay. The first couple BMs that you'll have, you'll have white barium mixed okay. in with the stool. That's normal. It has to work its way out. Okay. So, okay. Other than that, we are all done and you're free to go. Perfect. Thank uh, you so much. You're welcome. So Teresa will get the door for us here.
and we will let you head down to the changing area. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day. Thank you. And you it's too. right around the corner there. Perfect. Thank you. Got a trauma in the ER, you guys. Let's go. Megan and I'll get the portable. You get the um, grid holder in room 210. We pull the curtain. Doctor, what are we going to need? We're going to need a chest x-ray and a taxable lateral C-spine. Okay. We have a 28-year-old female, high-speed uh, motor vehicle crash. Got she it. has some neck pain and she has some decreased lung sounds on the left. So I'm a little concerned about the, uh, in the thorax. We've got a 20 gauge on the right hand forearm. Megan. Flush as well. Just let us know when you're ready. We'll get out of here. You can leave that railing down. All right. Sorry. Chelsea, you want to get a technique set up? Okay, top of my cassette is here. Okay, come on. I have it in lengthways. Got a heart rate of 59, staff of 99, 100 over 66 for a pressure. Chelsea, can you grab me the apron? Got a marker? Yep. I'm gonna lower the bed down. Okay, you're ready for x-ray. Beep. Doctor, you want to come look at the x-ray? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. It looks like she has a left pneumothorax. We need to get set up for a chest x-ray. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Breast tube? Okay. And uh, we'll also make the C-spine zone. Raise the bed up. What size tube do you want, Doctor? Great. I think we need to put on here. Yep. There we go. There's your marker. 
Chelsea, get a C-spine technique set up, please. Could you back it up a little bit? Thank you. Brittany, is there any way for you to just bring your shoulders down a little bit? Good. We're just going to take a picture of your neck here, okay? Did you get that marker in there yep. real closer? Okay. All right, x ray. X -ray. Beep. Okay, you want to come peek? It looks like you have a C2 fracture. Can someone get neurosurgery on the line? Can we peek neurosurgery? Can someone get another set of vitals? Thank you. Can you bring that for me, please? Thank you, Okay. It's going to happen real fast, okay? Okay. All right. We're going to get set up and put a test tube in on this side and help with your breathing. Okay. 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 Grab the grid and Got that. you can get us out.